Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. Dr. Terror's House of Horrors, which you can watch on Amazon, was the first and best of the horror anthologies made by British studio Amicus, starring Peter Cushing as the eponymous Doctor. An unfortunate misnomer, for I am the mildest of men. Wielding a pack of tarot cards. I call it my House of Horrors. And alongside a cast of recognisables from Christopher Lee. Don't be so gullible to a young Donald Sutherland. To pass the time on a train journey, Dr. Shrek, German for terror, tells the fortunes of his five travelling companions, who are not a lucky bunch. The stories that emerge play on classic horror tropes, sometimes giving them a twist. There's science fiction, a dog strangled by a vine. The ironic morality tale. <laughs> and some ideas I personally hadn't seen before, as British entertainer Roy Castle foolishly steals music from a voodoo ritual while showing off his own skills. Anthology films tend to be a mixed bag, but while some entries are stronger than others, and these have been very well ordered, there's nothing here without some interest. It's well shot by director of photography Alan Hume, whose wonderfully diverse career included Hammer, Bond, 15 Carry On films and Return of the Jedi. You are not afraid. It has real tension and just enough humour to stop it from getting po-faced. Above all, director Freddie Francis, who had already won the first of his two Oscars for cinematography, has an admirable economy of storytelling. There are five tales here, plus the framing story on the train, and none of them seem rushed, still find time for atmosphere, none of them seem too thin, the characters are well realised. A work of notable incompetence. The usual pitfalls of the anthology film have been avoided. And it's the same for all of us. To be hypercritical, Alan Freeman's character is somewhat anonymous compared to his travelling companions. I'd like to try those cards, if you don't mind. And the final line of the Donald Sutherland story, I thought, was a horrible misstep. But it's close to the end, so I'll be magnanimous. Overall, I'd say it was enjoyable, satisfyingly eerie, and a really great cast. Everyone will see something quite different. If you haven't caught it before, then give it a watch. Thanks for watching. What are your favourite segments from this or other anthology horrors? Let us know in the comments below.